Good evening everyone, this is Bremster, and tonight I'm coming to you with a puzzle called Three Carrots by Bronze. This is another Sudoku U puzzle. So this is of course one from the uh, the Signet Sudoku Volume 1, um, which is a book that has been made for the students of the class to bring all of their puzzles that have been uh, created together. Um, so it's I just love that that's a thing. A physical book has been made. But it is also available in PDF format for you to download and enjoy the puzzles for free. I will provide the link below where you can go and grab the book. Um, it is, of course, on my uh, free Patreon page in the um, Puzzle Pack collection section. So if you go to the collection section on my Patreon page, there's a whole bunch of puzzles, like thousands of puzzles there now, I think, um, that you can just grab for free and enjoy. Um, some amazing puzzles in there. Um, but... Let's focus on this one for now. So yes, the these are puzzles that are created in the Puzzles and Paradoxes class, which is run at a university by full deck and missing a few cards. And these puzzles are mostly created by the students. There will be some lecturer's notes coming at the end of this set. Um, and yeah, the students creating puzzles. It's a, just a wonderful thing to teach critical thinking skills. But I've already done, gone into that enough. So let's have a look at Three Carrots by Bronze. So... What are the rules? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So in every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits 1 to 9 must be placed without repetition. Little killer. The clues outside the grid um, with an arrow are the sum of the digits in the cells in, along the indicated diagonal. So, for example, the arrow pointing here says that those cells sum to 26. Digits may repeat along these diagonals if allowed by other rules. So those will sum to 26. We know those two sum to 10. We know those sum to 27. Um, then we've got blue lines, which are sum lines, and the sum of the digits on a blue line is the same within each box. So we know that those two cells, those are in box 5 on this line, these cells are in box 3 on the same line, but because these are in the same box and these are in the same box, those cells, um, which I will mark in yellow, have the same sum as those cells, which I will mark in green. And that's because they're the boxes that those cell, um, lines exist in. They're the way that the rules work. I'm not sure how hard this one is. They've tended to ramp up in difficulty as I've gone through this set, so we will see. I'm going to restart the puzzle to restart my timer. Let's give this a shot. Now, I can see some stuff immediately. Those three cells have to sum to 24. Now, if I put in the maximum digits that you can put into three cells that see each other, they're all in the same box, they're 7, 8, 9. If you add 7, 8, 9, you get 24. So they must be 7, 8, and 9. Um, what else can I see like that? Nothing forced that is jumping out at me. But I can see that those cells there sum to 17 by the little killer, which means that those two cells have to sum to 17. And how do you make 17 in two cells? Those must be 8 and 9. And up here, these cells sum to 16, and those are the cells on the line in that box. So these two cells have to sum to 16, which means they're 7, 9. How do I know that? Well, 8, 9 are the biggest digits that I can put into those two cells. I need to reduce that total by 1, because they sum to 17. Now, if I reduce the 9 by 1, I'd end up with 8, 8, and that's not allowed, because they see each other. So I have to reduce the 8 by 1, and I end up with 7, 9, which of course means that's the 8, and I can take the 8 out of those. That's cool. Now, these sum to 17. Mm, not sure. Oh, these sum to 23. So the maximum I can put into those is 7, 8, 9. I have to reduce one of them by 1. The only digit I can reduce by 1 without causing a double is the 7, reducing it to a 6, and these become 6, 8, and 9. Now, there's probably something I can calculate about these lines. Because I know that these lines, the sum of all of those cells, no, that's not true. It's it's that, that line, that line, that line, and that line. The sum of all of those cells is the sum of all of those cells. Now, the trick about that is this the sum of the entire box here is all of the digits 1 to 9, which is 45. So the sum of all of these is going to be approaching 45. It's somewhere between 36 
um, which is the m minimum that eight digits could be, and, and 44, which is the maximum that they could be. But I'm not sure if I can actually use that. Now, these sum to 16, but there's lots of ways of doing that. Is it the sum, I'm going to get rid of all of that colouring, I just wanted to demonstrate a point. Is it the sum of all of those digits, or even better, just those digits there? Because I know that these digits sum to 33, but the maximum that these digits could sum to is 6, 5, 4, and 3. But all of those digits have to sum to 33. Is it 33? Yeah, which is 26 plus 7. But those have a maximum of 6, 5, 4, and 3. Now, 6, 5, 4, and 3 is 18. And to get 18 to 33, I need another 15. So these have to sum to 15. And because it's an odd total, they can't be the same digit. So they're either 6, 9, or 7, 8. Now that can't be 7, so that can't be 8. And that can't be 9, so that can't be 6. So Oh, and that can't be an 8. That's a 6, so that's a 9. Which means that's a 7, and that's a 9. That's, and these must be... No, that's not necessary. No, that is forced. Let me go back. That's if these, that's if these were the minimum. That's if those were six, five, four, and three. If these are six, five, four, and three, these would have to sum to 15. But if these were lower, these would have to sum to higher than 15. If they were 16, they'd have to be seven, nine, or eight, eight, and I can't put seven, nine, or eight there. If they were 17, this, these would have to be eight and nine, which doesn't work. These have to be six, five, four, and three. This is a one, two pair, and these are six, seven, eight, nine. This is the six, and this is the nine. That feels forced by all of that logic. And I maybe didn't explain that well enough, but I'm pretty certain it's true. That's absolutely crazy, and not a little killer trick that I'm very good at. Now, can I repeat the logic down here? Because these have to sum to 35, but the maximum I can put into those is 7543. Now, 5, 4, and 3 is 14 plus 7 is 21, but I'm aiming for 35. So these have to sum to at least 14. But I can do that because I can put a 7 here with a 7, or this could be higher and this could be lower. Oh, the 8, 9 here made this a 6. And there's no 6 here. Actually, this can't be that low. If this is 5, this could be 9. It's got to be this trick. Doesn't it? Have I done my math wrong? If these were 7, 6... Sorry, 7, 5, 4, and 3. 4 and 3 is 7, plus 5 is 12 plus 7 is 19. Yeah, 19. But I'm aiming for 35. So I would need another 16. How do I put 16 into these? I can't use 8, 8. So these have to be 7, 9. Because I can't use 8, 8 because I can't put 8 there. So these are 7, 9. That's the 7. That's the 9. And if I went, if I decreased these, I'd have to increase these. And these would have to be an 8, 9 pair and I can't do it. So these are 7, 
five, four, three. And if I sum those together, I'm just confirming this again. Five and four is nine, plus three is 12, plus seven is 19, plus nine is 28, plus seven is 35, 27 plus eight is 35, that's forced. The eight, nine here means this is the seven, so this is the nine, because those had to pair up. That takes seven out of there, makes this the nine and this the seven. Oh, this is the seven and this is the nine for the same reason. That was there for a while. This nine makes this the eight, which makes this the nine, and these are a one, two pair. That's absolutely crazy. Whoops, I needed to turn that off, not back on. Now, now these are restricted because these sum to 12. So this is 12 and this is 12. So those sum to 24. How do you do 12? Well, I can't use 9, 3. So these, because of this 3, I can't use 9, 3 to make the 12. So one of them is 8, 4, and the other one is 7, 5, because 6, 6 doesn't work. So these are 8, 4 and 7, 5. And this quadruple is 1, 2, 6 and 9. Well, there's no 6 there. There's no 9 there. There's no 9 there. What is this? If this is 3, 1, this is 3, 1. If this is 3, 2, this is 1, 4 or 3, 2. And this must have a 6 on it. So this is either 7 or 8. So this is 7 or 8. Now this can't, these have to sum to 10 and 10 is made up of a low digit and a high digit when the two digits see each other. And I cannot put a high digit there. So this is one, two, three, four. So this is six, seven, eight, nine. It's not nine. So this is not one. It's not seven. So this is not three. So this is six or eight and this is two or four. I can, oh, nine. Nine is not in any of those, and nine is not there or there. That's a nine. Hang on, nine in this box is just slap bang in the middle. This is one, two, six. Which means this is eight and this is nine. Which means these aren't the eight. Now these are to sum to 12, so that means these are not the four. That's not seven. Seven went with five. Oh, this is four now, so that's eight. So four and eight come out. The seven makes this the five and this the seven. How do I do 17? This is the math I'm terrible at. I'm terrible at this math. If I don't use, what's up with my phone? If I don't use a one, I've got so much freedom in three digits. I need something forced, like eight is in one of those two cells. If eight is on the line, the other two digits sum to nine but I'd have two, seven, three, six. So seven is not on, oh, so where, oh no, I've got the seven. So six is not on this line. So what's the maximum that could be on this line? This can only be from one, two, three, and four. That's not a four because the maximum this line can sum to is five. So these are from one, two, three, four. So five and six have to go into here. So six is in one of those two. 
but six is looking down. That's not the six. This is the six. So this is the eight. So this is the two. Now do I have more restriction on this? If I don't put a seven on this line, if I don't put a seven on this line, the maximum it could be is four, five, six. Which it doesn't sum to 17. It only sums to 15. So there must be a seven on this line and the seven is not there or there. That's the seven. These two have to sum to 10 and I have to use a low and a high digit and the only high and low, the only high digit I've got left is six. This is a four, six pair. This six makes that the four. This becomes the six. That takes six out of there and it takes four out of there. Oh, the two has made this the one which makes this the two, which means there's no two there. Now, if this is 3, 1, this would be a 1, 3 pair. If this is 3, 2, this could be 1, 4 or 3, 2. I'm not sure. This is 3 or 5. These are all 1, 3, 5. The 2, no, that's not it. The 4 is looking up, taking 4 out of there, though. This triple in the column is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are one, two, three. But the minimum, the line, the line is either seven or eight. So one, six doesn't work. One, seven doesn't work. If that was a one, I couldn't get the total up because the line is seven or eight. So I can't do one, six or one, seven. So this isn't the one. If this is two, this would have to be five or six and it can't be six so it'd be two five and if it's three it's either four or five so this is just four or five and this is never a one oh where's eight in this column can't go down here, can't go in there. This is just the eight. Two is in one of those two. Yeah, two is in one of those two. There's no six here. Six is in one of those two. These are one, two, three, four, five. Mm. Oh, wait. I could have taken this further. I didn't take these far enough. These have to sum to seven. There's no two on them. That's the three, four. I can take three out of there and three, four out of there. This is the five, six. This is the three, four. And I can do the same down here. These have to sum to eight, but this is a three, four, five. I can't put a seven there. And five would need three, four. Would, I can't put a four on an eight clue. This is a three, five. I can take three, five out of those. I should have taken those clues further. And I didn't. But if I just run out again. I think I have. Because now this is seven, 14, 18, 27. Yeah, that just works. Damn. I should have done that earlier, but I don't think it helped me much. That don't impress me much. Except that seven makes that the four and that the seven. Takes four out of there. This could be one, three, or two, three still. This is one, two, or five. Four is in one of those two. These are one, two, four, five. So nine is in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two. And now if I don't put an eight on this line, then the total maximum I could put on it, because I can't put a seven or a nine on this line. Seven can't go into any of those cells. Nine can't go into any of those cells because those they're all seen by nines. 
if I don't put an 8 on the line, the maximum is 4, 5, 6, which is only 15. So I have to put an 8 on the line. There is an 8 right there. Now, the other two cells have to sum to 8. They can't be 1, 7. If they're two, they can't be 2, 6. So these are 3, 5. This is beautiful. And that's a 3, 5 pair. I've got to use that better, though. Is there a clue I haven't used now? I think I've used all the little killer clues. So this is a quadruple. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, two, four, six, and seven. There's no six or seven there. So this is a two or a four. There's no seven there. This has not helped much. Or well, it hasn't helped me much yet. Eight is in one of those two. Seven is in one of those two. There's one, two, three, four, fives everywhere. Oh, where is nine in this column? Nine is in this, this is just the nine. So six is in one of those, no, six is in one of those, six is in one of those two cells. So this can't be six, seven, eight, nine, or three, five. So it's one, two, four. Four is in one of those two cells. Wait, it can't, so this could be one, two, can't be three. Four, can't be five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are from one, two, four. No, why did I mark that they had to be four? I don't think it's true that they must contain four. I think I saw this one, two. Wait, yeah, these have to be one, two, four. I, right, where do I put five in this row? I can't put five in those. I can't put five in those. And because of the three, five hit, that's the five. That's the three. That three makes that the five and that the three, which makes that the five and takes five out of those. The one, two, where is three in this row now? Because I can't put three in any of those. That's the three. That's the four. The three looks down, making that the one and that the three. That takes three out of there. Do I need a three on this line? If I don't, it's one, two, and this line would sum to three, and it doesn't work. This is a three. These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a four, five pair, giving me a four, five pair in this column. So this is a one or a two, which I had from the box anyway. This is now a one, two, six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So these are three, four, five and must contain a three. So three comes out of this. This is two. This is one. The two makes this one and this two, which takes two out of those, making this four and this one. The puzzles the students are coming up with is stunning. Three is in here, but this three says that's not the three. This is the three. Now this is six or seven, and this is, but this is seven or eight. This can't be a four, or these would have to be six and zero. This is a five, this is now six, one, which means this is a two, this is a one. These do sum to five, so that's a two. The five looks down making that four, that five, which looks up making that four. The 
What's this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is one, three. The three makes that the one and that the three. The one makes that the six and that the one. That takes six out of there. I'm pretty much just down to Sudoku now, but I'm... So these are two, three, four, five, six. These are two, six, and seven. There's no six there. There's no seven there. But the two makes that the six, which makes that the five and that the six. There's no six there. This is a two, seven pair which makes that a two, seven pair. So that becomes the six. This triple, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. These are two, four, five. So that's the seven, that's the two, that's the seven. There's a five there. There's a two and a four there. So that's the five. I could have done it that way faster, but I didn't. The two, four, don't know. But these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, three, and eight. There's no one or three there. That's the eight. And that's the three. And that's the one because of the one that was there. This is now a pair. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The six looks down, making that the seven and that the six. I could have used the seven pencil mark, but whatever. This column, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, four, and eight. So I can put in the four and the eight because there was already an eight. The four looks back, making that the two and that the four. This box needs a two, which goes there. One, two, three, four, five. And that is the solution to the puzzle. 23 minutes, 57 seconds. That was beautiful. The logic around how the sums of these worked was really cool. And then the interaction of these lines, the, the puzzles these students are coming up with is absolutely stunning. And I am blessed to have these puzzles shared with me. Thank you so much. I hope more people... I, I know I've got like 4,000 people who are subscribed to my channel and I've got about 1,500 who regularly visit. That's a lot. But I really wish more people would actually find out about these. Please share at least the Sudoku U puzzles with people because these are just stunning. Um, thank you, everyone. This is just, I am blessed to get these puzzles. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, tomorrow, I believe you're getting the lecturer's notes puzzle. So we'll see what that is. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.